Welcome to Think Tech Hawaii Asian Review. This is Johnson Choi, the host. The guest today is Professor Kwok. Before I introduce Professor Kwok, I would like to take 15 seconds to wish everybody a happy Moon Festival. Today is the day in Asia, in China, in Hong Kong, and some places. Today is also considered as a Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to the world. Professor Kwok is one of our fellow uh, Hong Kongers, we call him. He was born and raised in Hong Kong. And he is right now is a full professor at University of Hawaii at Manoa in the Asian Study Department. And today our topic is very interesting and, and has been widely reported uh, in the United States and around Asia. We're talking about the, what the happening at the South China Sea. Professor Kwok, uh, can you share with us some of the recent news on uh, South China Sea? Well, at the moment, uh, the main news about the South China Sea is uh, the Maybe China... Maybe we can have the map uh, so they can yeah, yeah. see. Mm -hmm. uh, the South China Sea has two parts. One okay. is the Paracel Island, as you can see on the, on the north, and the Sprackley Island. So uh, our talk is mainly concentrating on the Sprackley Island. Okay. Uh, what happens is that basically in Sprackley Island is that a number of reefs uh, that uh, China is doing very large-scale uh, reclamations. Uh, the news is essentially uh, particularly about uh, China's uh, uh, reclamations, uh, also uh, including military installations in uh, one, of, one, one, of the, one of the reefs. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit more. And the response to that is the U.S. response is uh, sending Navy, Navy ships and uh, military airplanes to patrol that area. I think uh, at the moment, this is the tension and this is the dis disputes. And it becomes not only an issue between China and, it, and its Southeast Asian neighbor, but also between China and U.S. And uh, maybe now we can uh, take a look at uh, map number two. And uh, so uh, historically, uh, some of the international trade would. Well, this, first of all, let's talk about what the South China okay. Sea do uh, uh, internationally. First of all, it's the most important is a, is a trade route, I OK? Uh, particularly freight. Uh, 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 about over 40% of the international uh, uh, freight comes through this area. Especially like the oil? <laughs> um, oil, oil, particularly for okay. China, okay? Uh, but basically, China produces a, a, a lot of goods uh, uh, that goes over the, uh, um, you know, transfer to the other part of the world. It also goes through this, mainly going to uh, Southeast Asia as, uh, or South Asia and Africa to, uh, as, as well. Uh, the other thing about it is uh, the perhaps the next map. The next uh, map yeah, maybe. is the uh, natural resources that that uh, in this uh, in the South China Sea. Uh, by the way, this is not exhaustive. Uh, basically, in 1970, at uh, the earliest 1970, Philippines began to explore uh, the uh, 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 explore that particular area, and in 76, actually discover. Uh, natural gas and from there on uh, you know continues to to get, discover more and more oil and natural gas this is particularly important in this part of the world apart from indonesia apart from brunei none of those uh, chinese neighbor including china are rich in natural resources so this becomes a a major natural resources for, for these nations. So this becomes a, uh, a, another contentious point. And this is interestingly enough to see, before 1970s, you don't find, you know, claiming of sovereignty. And China's one of the major claimers. They were the earliest one to claim sovereignty in, in that area in the modern, day, modern days. So you want to go to the next map? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, well, this next map is just to show you 
uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the different claim. The red one is China. This is so-called a nine dashes line. Uh, China claimed that uh, uh, um, this, is a, uh, this exists uh, uh, earlier than the Second World War. Uh, and, and it has always been the claim. And you can look at Vietnam, the purple line, uh, uh, what the Vietnamese claim of, of this area, all the way uh, down close to Borneo. Okay, and then you can see the the third one, which is uh, the green one. Uh, that is, I think, the Malaysian uh, 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 claim. Uh, then you can also see um, the uh, that's a green one, and then you can see uh, Taiwan also claim the brown brown one, and of course the Philippine uh, claim in the uh, uh, yellow line. So they are all. Uh, overlap each other, and it becomes a huge problematic Southeast Asian uh, dispute. Was there once an 11-dash line? Uh, no, there's a 9-dash dash line. line. Yeah. Was it one time that the China uh, made concession to Vietnam when they were in better terms that uh, uh, I don't want to go into oh, that okay, because okay. this is about a parallel <laughs> island. Okay. This is in the 70s. See, At one point of time, North Korea essentially gave China the whole parallel island, and then afterwards, this is why I don't want to get okay, into okay, it's a, it. It's a separate subject. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, of course, you know, uh, there is a lot of uh, complaint by uh, some countries, including the United States, that uh, there's a lot of uh, reef reclama reclamation. Uh, uh, maybe the next map will show that. Uh, the uh, before we do that, let's okay. talk a little bit about the methods of claim. Okay, okay? I mean, there's basically three methods of, of, of claim. The first method of claim is historical evidence, and this is where China uh, use it extensively. Um, the, essentially, they say, well, in the third century BC, there was already uh, Chinese uh, uh, paper articles uh, talk. Uh, describing the islands, about fishing in the islands. And particularly in the third century uh, 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 AD, uh, particularly in the World of Roaring States, there are two books published in China talking about the Paracel Island as well as the Spreadly Island. It. And uh, the China said, well, we know about these islands, we use these islands for fishing. Uh, therefore, uh, even before the Southeast Asian nation even become nation. Right, right. Okay? Uh, so that's one, one argument. Uh, the, uh, uh, there's a one, one kind of claim. Uh, the second claim of claim is administrative department. Uh, Philippines leads everybody else. Uh, in 1970s, and they already have a certain area, or particularly the area closest to Philippines, uh, the Ka Kalakia uh, uh, municipality. And they say, well, they actually set up administrations. Uh, within the, the, the Philippine administration. Vietnam fo followed suit in 1982, and my pronunciation is uh, 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 a little weak. It's, uh, uh, it's called Hong Sai District covering the Paracel Islands. That means uh, we have got an administration for that. China is late. China come in, uh, set up the South Sea Island administration in Hainan Island very late in 1992. Uh, now, having said that, the historical evidence and administrative departments, they are very, very weak and not considered as uh, a reason for claims. So these are, uh, you can say that, but nobody cares much about okay. you know, that in, in, in terms of claiming. So it leads into the third most important claim, that is reclamations. Okay, can we see the, see the map the about map, reclamation? Yeah. Okay. Now, this is the, the complexity of the uh, 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 reclamation. Uh, you can see China's reclamation is in red, okay, on the top right hand side, it tells you. And then the second one is that, uh, um, let, me, let me see, um, the, the um, the next one is the, uh, the Philippine. The Philippine came is in, I think, blue. The Malaysian claim is in green. Uh, the Vietnam claim is in purple. And Taiwan claim is in blue. Okay? Uh, so you can see that in this area, 
uh, China, again, coming into reclamation late. Uh, all, these, uh, air, all these other nations, um, well, uh, including Taiwan, uh, has uh, set up reclamation. Taiwan, particularly in the Sprekpi Island, there is an island is called Taiping. Uh, is Taiping. Taiping? Uh, right. And they actually have uh, people living in there. Oh, yeah. They have got administration there. They have got a, a, a government administration there. And interestingly enough, in January, the last president, Ma Yingzhou, actually went there right. Uh, right. and uh, uh, used the water. They say, well, this is not a reef because they have natural water. Uh, they have got the uh, 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 well there, they get uh, water, they have got inhabitants there. That's uh, they raise vegetable. Uh, I said they have chicken running around. Oh, <laughs> yes, I mean, uh, uh, photographs showing in drinking water uh, and standing uh, uh, next to it, uh, the, the Taiping Dao yeah. and, uh, and, right. and, uh, and the administrative right, offices right. and, you, you know, all, all that. So everybody is doing different type of things for, for claim. But China did it the biggest way. Uh, particularly, as I mentioned, in 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 in, in one of the uh, well, in all of them, they put down airline strips. Right. You know, uh, people. Uh, and Taiping the, Island has airline strip too. Uh, practically everybody has airline oh. strip. I mean, how air, long? Air, yeah, air, how big? Uh, uh, well, China is bigger than every, <laughs> everybody okay. else, and it's also for military aircraft. Yeah, exactly. Okay, uh, uh, and uh, and the most threatening thing uh, is that uh, uh, China, particularly in in one of one of the reefs, uh, and uh, um, let me make sure that I I got the. The right name of, 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 the, of the well, one of the reefs that they put down um, missile sites. Oh, I see. Okay, this is uh, uh, a few months ago, oh, yeah. and then in fact uh, you can see photographs that uh, mis missiles there, and and there's a whole story as to uh, why China went into that. Right. And as a result, China is aggressor because they they are the only nation that actually put down military insta installation, which is very threatening to its neighbor. And that there's re reason for international press to say, well, well, this is really alarming. You know, uh, China is aggressor. But in order to see the China's reaction, we really have to see the U.S. position in that. Because of, because of the military uh, uh, installation, uh, uh, U.S. Uh, basically sent uh, 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 Navy patrol, uh, uh, aircraft uh, patrol uh, periodically in that area. And also that, uh, again, uh, I think this is quite right. clear that uh, uh, Japan was somehow brought into uh, Maybe into this. you want to cover this right now on the, uh, the Asian pivot? Um, Maybe uh, yeah. After that, maybe after the maybe after the break, we talk more about that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. That, so that, um, I think that that that's reasonable uh, to make a break. No, no, we are not going to break in for a few minutes. Maybe mm. we can you can add on. You know, uh, you said a lot of uh, country has been doing the recommendations, mm. and I guess China is the one that more aggressive. Mm. Oh right? yeah. And yeah. do it, and they are the they come they come late, mm. but uh, but I guess you know with uh, you know with all. We're going to cover later on on the pivot when the USI and the other mm -hmm. nations, you know, mm -hmm. uh, trying to, uh, you know, try to more or less like, for some Chinese, they told me it's almost like gaining up, you know, on China, you know, mm -hmm. even, even when China have well documented, they, they've been mm -hmm. uh, occupying all this island uh, for mm -hmm. centuries. Mm -hmm. And somehow, you know, they say, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it may not be the way it should be. Mm -hmm. right? Well, uh, I mean, this is a China's point of view. Right. You know, I mean, uh, I indeed, they are, they are the latecomers. Everybody has already built a strip, uh, and and everybody is doing reclamation. Everybody is sending people there. And don't forget that another resource is this is a very very good fishing ground. Okay, uh, therefore you, you you will find well lots of dispute is that uh, uh, certain boats were uh, um, you know. Uh, being taken by another nations and uh, 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 lots of that sort of d d d dispute because you know uh, everybody said well, you know, they say well Chinese boat or Vietnamese boat coming into my territory therefore you know uh, uh, okay maybe we go into the break in a, a few seconds you know when we come back we're going to uh, take a closer look at uh, what is causing uh, all this uh, 
uh, verbal uh, argument or, or, or military confrontation, you know, uh, that's and it's it, happening, you know. Yeah, in, particularly in, why yeah. in the 2011s onward these issues become... Okay, maybe yeah. when we come back uh, from the break, we'll talk more about it, okay? Mm -hmm. Aloha, everybody. My name is Mark Shklov. I'd like you to join me for my program, Law Across the Sea, on thinktechhawaii.com. Aloha. Hello, my name is Crystal. Let me tell you, my talk show, I'm all about health. It's healthy to talk about sex. It's healthy to talk about things that people don't talk about. It's healthy to discuss things that you think are unhealthy because you need to talk about it. So I welcome you to watch Quok Talk and engage in some provocative discussions on things that do relate to healthy issues and have a well-balanced attitude in life. Join me. Hey everybody, my name is David Chang and I'm the new host of a new show, The Art of Thinking Smart. I'm really excited to be able to share with you secrets on giving yourself the smart edge in life. We're going to have awesome guests and great mentors of mine from the political, military, business, nonprofit, you name it. So it's something for everybody. Welcome back to uh, Think Tank Hawaii Asian Review. This is uh, Johnson Chan. My guest today is uh, Professor Kwok. Uh, we were talking about the, uh, the Southeast Asia, you know, uh, what's happening right now and uh, also uh, looking at from the U.S. and Southeast Asia uh, interests. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe Professor Kok can you jump into and share with us your, your insight. Mm -hmm. Well, U.S. also have interest, interest in this area, mainly, uh, at least U U.S. Uh, proclaim is essentially for the trade route. Okay. Or the freedom uh, of navigation, that's what they call it. Yeah, uh, and uh, I think uh, uh, Secretary or Executive uh, Clinton had made it very, very clear, uh, uh, made declaration very, very clear that that's the, the main interest. And indeed, uh, the issue or the dispute in that area threatened that. that. But U.S. also uh, has other type of issues. The main issue is that uh, if we are talking about international relations, there are basically two issues that's the most important. One is the economic one through trade, uh, through investment. The second one is about security. Okay, that's really involved military. Let's talk about the trade and talk about. Uh, um, uh, uh, um, the, the economic uh, interest. Ever since uh, President Bush entered into the Iraq war, the first, the, the, the senior. Uh, yeah, and okay. then this is, uh, and, uh, and uh, President Obama's uh, uh, Afghanistan war, America's uh, uh, um, regional interest in this part of the world concentrated in the Middle East I and they neglected this whole area. Well, the, the vacuum is essentially filled in China. Uh, I think it is pretty well established. China's military uh, 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 power is way behind uh, United, States. Uh, United States and way behind way even behind. Japan. Okay, so, uh, uh, so the Chinese way of uh, international relations is always through economic trade, etc. And China did very, very well during that period. Uh, they did trade and they did uh, economic relationship with Southeast Asia uh, extremely well. They are always the number one to number three trade partners in, in this part of the world. Uh, therefore, the relationship with these areas are very good, whereas U.S. is way behind. Okay, so that's one area of uh, 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 U.S. need to ca catch up. And uh, uh, particularly, uh, the uh, uh, President Obama in 2011, the, the uh, announcement of rebalancing Asia. And this is essentially say, uh, U.S. has to get back to Southeast Asia. Uh, he didn't really very specify on what they're what they doing, but essentially about trade and also about security. And uh, then uh, following that, uh, that the Asia pivot, and you can look, look at the map, uh, uh, that was proposed by, at that time, the, uh, the Secretary Clinton, the Secretary of State. Uh, basi basically, uh, uh, this is uh, actually, uh, this map come from uh, a U.S. Uh, uh, 
uh, uh, source uh, uh, shows you, I mean, the arrow is shows you uh, the kind of military uh, installation. For example, uh, U.S. has the number one, number two largest amount of uh, military personnel in South Korea and Japan. Number two is in, in, in NATO. Okay, uh, and uh, uh, you can see that uh, in the in, in the arrow shows you that uh, uh, U.S. has uh, a security pact with uh, Philippines, with uh, uh, apart from Japan, uh, um, uh, um, Indonesia. Oh, no, sorry, not Indonesia. Uh, uh, Singa Singapore, Singapore. Uh, um, Australia, and New, New Zealand, and uh, basically that uh, um, ports are open for U.S. military use. And on the left-hand side of the map, and you can see the Middle East. You know, uh, 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 U.S. Has, uh, has installations. And if you are looking from a China point of view, this is really containment, threatening very much to. To, to China, so China had to do something about it, and not don't. Uh, uh, and if you look at it, China's access to the sea is mainly through Pacific, and this threatened China's access to right. Pacific. Uh, South China Sea, as far as China is right. concerned, becomes one of those. We are not talking about East China East China Sea, but that's a diff different right, topic right, altogether. Right, right. East China Sea is also. Uh, because you know, if China needs to get into Pacific or or to in that reason going to uh, go down south to Indian Ocean and go to uh, uh, Africa, it needs the South China Sea. So okay. it's very easy for U.S. after naval blockade. Uh, uh, U.S. Uh, hasn't done that, but uh, but U.S. certainly could. has those yeah. military uh, uh, possibility capability and to capability to do to do, to so do that. So China is trying to fight to not to be. Uh, I don't think, uh, let's be very careful, I don't uh, think China is putting out, out uh, as fighting. I see. But what China is doing is that there's potential for that. I see. Okay? I see. Uh, uh, they can do something uh, uh, about, uh, about it. Okay? okay. Um, when we talk about the, the security policies, um, uh, it is not as simple as a sort of guesswork and this is this is what 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 happens uh, us also have done a lot of saber rattling uh, there are a number of uh, naval exercises that keep on going uh, in, in 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 the south pacific seas and and us constantly doing that for example uh, the valence seal if you remember the last one is 2016 there's a purely us uh, naval exercise uh, and uh, uh, another is uh, uh, CARAT, C-A-R-A-T. Uh, this is uh, the last one. It's 2016. This looks like the sort of annual exercise between so, uh, between uh, U.S. and South and Southeast Asian nations, including Malaysia. Recently, the, the last one, uh, chi uh, uh, China was making some protests it, before China ne never made protests. By the way, China was invited to be... Obs okay. Observance. They so they observe. Another is Ma Malabar, uh, 2016, and this is with India and with Japan. And uh, Kinsaw, the last one, uh, as far as I know, is 2015 with Japan. And of course, the big one that in Hawaii we know very very the well, the RIMPAC. Yeah. Uh, 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 this uh, in June this year, and 25 nations and China was finally last year and this year uh, asked to participate and this including uh, naval uh, forces from from Europe and all the Southeast Asia and South South Asia the, 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 this is a big uh, a military uh, play so in other words uh, um, China knows where they stand uh, as well as a military in, in fact it's very interesting I, I watch a uh the Taiwan uh, news uh, me, uh, uh, newscast this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, actually, right now today, uh, mm -hmm. Russia and China start one of the largest uh, joint uh, naval exercise in the South China Sea, mm -hmm. and you United States announced to have uh, a major exercise, uh, sending the uh, the latest uh, aircraft carrier mm -hmm. down from Japan and Guam mm -hmm. the same day. Mm -hmm. And the way they covered the news coverage is the old day was 
when China do a military exercise, the U.S. spy plane and military aircraft will will be around mm -hmm. the exercise. But today, when the China, when the, uh, U.S. is sending down the aircraft carrier, China is sending up a battery of aircraft, fighter jet, mm -hmm. and long-range bomber with fuel tank uh, refueling capacity. It's watching and practicing in case they have to attack. So that's from the Taiwan media. So I, I think there may be some truth to that. Well, I think that's sort of saber rat uh, rattling. It happens in both yeah. sides, and uh, you would find that U.S. is, uh, in all fairness, is doing much more than China. China did uh, cooperate with uh, uh, Russia. Did a, did a couple right, of right, exercises. Right. But it is quite clearly the, uh, the U.S. superiority is absolutely no doubt. Mm. And what are we doing here now? It's a both side is actually playing a game. It, yeah. this, the, 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 this is a game of seeing how far we can we can go and where are uh, where is the, 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 the line that we draw. And what I'm trying to say is that in South China Sea. Uh, China have drawn the line, and it, it seems the line is, at least currently, seems to be fixed, you know. And if you allow me, I would, I would go a little, li li little bit more about, uh, about that, okay? <clears throat> now, apart from everything else, as you know, that President Obama has been visiting uh, Southeast uh, Asia, Southeast Asia, every time every nation he visited comes back with a, with a trade agreement, but also a security pact. Um, the press was never very, very good in giving you the details. Nice. Okay, but uh, uh, so in other words, all these uh, 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 pact, and for Southeast Asia, uh, and for the Southeast Asian nation is concerned, this is a good thing because trade with China, why not trade with U.S.? So there is an alternative. Uh, so, uh, uh, the, 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 okay, the benefit is on, on, on both sides. Uh, so, what China is essentially doing is that uh, uh, this is a, a, a game of dare, okay, mm. with, with, with U.S. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What China is doing now in uh, putting the missiles uh, uh, in, in one, of the, one of the reclaimed reef is essentially saying to Southeast Asian nation, none of you can touch me. Uh, we, are, we can be the aggressor. Mm. So forget about, you know, forget about it. So the concentration is essentially in, in, in with, with the US, essentially uh, saying that, okay, you have got all these security pacts. See, we are okay with, we, 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 can, we have a stalemate with the South, Southeast Asian nation. We'll do it, continue to, with trade. But what, the, 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 the most latest news is that the ASEAN uh, meeting, this is 10 plus 1 and 10 plus 3 in July, very, very quick. Uh, essentially, China moved the Southeast Asian, this is a, 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 a conference that U.S. is not participating. And they established, trying to establish with the Southeast Asian nation is a South Sea Conduct Centers. So moving away from uh, a, a sovereignty territory claim into what sort of conduct. I see. Uh, uh, so that, to, 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 to reduce uh, 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 conflict. It's, that's uh, essentially the, the stalemate that uh, uh, China I see, uh, I see. has established. Okay, I think uh, we are pre at the end of the show, and then uh, this is a very complicated, very broad subject. Uh, I, I, I understand that you may be doing another talk for uh, at the university level, maybe sometime in the near future. Mm -hmm. If that happens, uh, let us know. We will probably, a lot of people would like to go to listen to you. And thank you, Dr. Kwok, for coming mm -hmm. to uh, enlighten us with all these uh, exciting and challenging issues. Well, thank you very okay. much for asking me. Thank you. <laughs> See you next uh, month uh, in uh, October. Happy uh, Moon Festival. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>